We were under attack a couple times. I've got the POD in the back here. Back here, I can show you where that okay. is if you want to hang on to this, but I don't want this lost. Okay. This was our crew. That was me, of course, there. Okay. Mike, introduce him. Let me introduce himself. So we'll get it quick. Okay, okay. Oh. I'm talking to Bill Cooper here, who's sharing some of his, his uh, World War II well, photos. Korea. Or Korea. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, yeah, I'm not that old. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some Korea memories here from the USS Gilbert Islands, the ship that you were stationed on. Why don't you want to get a shot of this picture, Bob? This is the that's the crew that I work with. And uh, let's see here. Are you in this picture? Yes, that's uh, right here. Oh, right, right, there. There. right there in the middle. Right there. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is the POD that you might be interested in here, right, right here. This has the information from the days of when we were uh, under missile attack, and we did have one that I have not found. I misplaced the other one when we were under attack. We were already in, uh, of course, on battle station, I think, when this took place. I haven't looked it over in years, so I don't recall what it's all about. But you can, you can right. hang on this if you'd like, but I okay. don't want it lost, please. Okay. Okay. This is just from the uh, CO of the Supply Department with his departure. Okay. Uh, Commander Andrews. Okay. All that right. was just the, the ball. Well, that's the point we came into. Uh huh. How long? Now, how long were you there total? Uh, whereabouts? In Korea. Trip? In Korea. Uh, probably over a period of time about uh, oh, four or five months. But right, not directly in Korea. No, we were very, like I said, aboard ship. Right. We were in the area. Of course, we went into Yokohama at that time and uh, dropped off some jets. So we were in the Yokohama, Yokosuka, and uh, Atsugi area for a period of time. And then we came back across the coast. What was your your mission while you were there? Uh, we were ship service personnel, so we took care of the ship's supplies and things like that under a, like a supply department. Sending things back and forth to... Well, yes, for the ship more and more so. Because, uh -huh. uh, of course, we were a department that serviced all of our personnel aboard ship that, uh, you know, did all that work. Right. And so then, was, were, you, were you from this area when you went over? Oh, yes, I was born near Bonzo. Okay. I was born here, uh, well... 1931, of course. And you draft, drafted, or...? No, no, I was in, in the Navy with a gentleman by the name of Stan Trexler. He uh -huh. was a Korean person also. He was aboard a DD, I think, or DE. And uh, I stayed with the Navy for four years, and I got out, and I went with the Navy resale system, which is a part of the, like the PX and BX for the Army and Navy. Mm -hmm. We service all Navy personnel and Marines. Mm -hmm. I stayed with them about 36 years, so I was gone from here about 40 years. Oh, I wow. came back about five years ago, four or five years ago. Did you have family back here the whole time? Or? No, no, no. I was married to a Newfoundland girl. In fact, I'm going next month to see my daughter and grandchildren in oh. Newfoundland. But uh, no, that's no, no family here. Yeah. Or my folks are here. My yeah. mother and dad, my right. sister and her children. Oh. Yeah, this has been my home all my life. Uh -huh. So I came back to freeze. <laughs> <laughs> but you probably did a lot of travel around the world for oh, yes, like 40 covered, years. Uh, oh yes, yeah, I have. Because when I was with the, uh, with the Navy resale system, I covered every place from, uh, I lived in Europe for a few years. I was in Newfoundland for quite a few years. And I was in uh, all corners of the states. So uh, Seattle, Bremerton area, Washington, Florida, and uh, uh, like I say, over in Europe, Spain, rode to Spain for years. And then, of course, when I came back, I was in the main office as a specialist out of New York, and I traveled all over the world because I covered all of our departments. So I covered it from uh, Philippines to uh, Japan to uh, Bermuda, Bahamas, Australia, a number of places. And when you started out, you started out though during Korea in your service? Yes, oh yeah, right, that was 1951. And you were about 20? Thank you, pardon? You were about 20 years old? Then? 19, yeah. Or 20. Mm -hmm. well, let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 19, I think, time when I went in. Mm -hmm. Had you ever been on, on a ship before? No, I couldn't even find it. I went to Philadelphia for crying out to find it. And I looked all over for it. And I asked somebody finally where the heck this ship was. He says, right there. I looked up and kept looking up and up and up and there it was. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that in my life. Of course, a little hick boy from Baldwin, so I would never see a ship of that size. And it was bigger than that building, of course. So yeah. you just didn't look. I wasn't looking for something that large. I was looking for a canoe or a rowboat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, how many men were on it on this boat? About 2,000 was uh, the main crew. We had probably three to four when we had the uh, planes on board. Yeah. Now, was it, uh, 
were there times when you were, uh, when it was rough and battle or all? Uh, well, like this, I say the POD will show you something we were under missile attack, and we did have one of them, I haven't lost that, but the worst time we had, well, that was bad, but we had a hurricane also. Uh -huh. This is off mock invasion in, uh, down off of Cape Hatteras, and we were hitting on about a 30 to 40 uh, roll, at least with an aircraft carrier, and that's a lot. And it was rough. Yeah. That was the roughest I'd seen it as far as sea was concerned, not as far as you know, battling. Right. Yeah, right. That's the roughest seas I ever saw. Yeah. Did you did you adjust to the life on the sea easily? Or oh yeah, it's not bad, not bad. I was only sick once. That was in this hurricane, and everybody was sick. Right? Yeah. But you were you managed to to come through it without any injuries or? Oh yes. Yeah. So we had a close call. We had misfire one time. We were in battle, uh, and we had a. A shell jammed in, and the first class gunner's mate that was there at the time, I hollered uh, jam, and he came right to us, and we both scooted, got off. We were just, uh, well, on, uh, below the flight deck, it's what they call a uh, catwalk, and we were on twin 40s. And uh, this had a, another chamber gone in, or another shell gone in the chamber, would have blown us all off the side of the ship. But, you know, I haven't got too much bad, just old age, that's all. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Bill. I'll let you uh, get right. going here. It is safe. I just don't want that. Loss, okay. Please. I'll have I'll have Bob make sure you get this back. Okay. I appreciate it very much. I just like to look through it and yeah, when I'm writing fine. something. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I can pick that up later this evening. Well, however long you want. Bill.